Welcome to another episode of Virtual Habitat Chats. This week, we'll be taking a closer look at the domesticated Bactrian camel habitat at the Detroit Zoo and meeting its resident caravan members. Our two humped friends are well adapted to survive in a wide range of temperatures and climates. Their versatile fur, hooves, eyelashes, nose, and ears all help them survive in temperatures ranging from negative 20 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit and in varied habitats and weather conditions. Although they are often grouped with other dromedary camels who have one hump, they are distinctly different. Besides their appearance, where these camels are found in the wild also differs. Dromedary camels are found in hot, dry deserts in the Middle East and North Africa, whereas Bactrian camels are native to the Gobi Desert in China and Mongolia. The differences don't just stop there. Wild Bactrian camels are also genetically unique from domesticated camels, such as the ones that live at the Detroit Zoo. Despite the tiny numbers in the wild, a significant number of domestic Bactrian camels are herded in the cold deserts of China and Mongolia. Researchers confirm that all domestic camels originated from the same population, but they don't, however, originate from wild Bactrian camels. At one point, these two subspecies shared a common ancestor, then diverged around 700,000 years ago, possibly because of changes to the climate pushing one group to migrate. Let's take a quick observation break. If you could rename the Bactrian camels, what name would you give them? Bactrian camels are migratory in the wild, with habitats that range from mountain grasslands to flat, arid deserts. In the Gobi Desert, situated in southern Mongolia and northern China, Bactrian camels have been present for thousands of years. Still, they are experiencing a steep decline in their population due to hybridization or breeding with dromedary and domesticated camels, hunting, climate change, and habitat loss because of mining and introduced livestock. These threats directly impact their population, reduce the amount of viable habitat available for wild Bactrian camels, and increases the competition for food. With only a few hundred Bactrian camels left in the wild, this species is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Let's take another observation break. How might the adaptations of the Bactrian camel help them in Michigan's climate? At the Detroit Zoo, the habitat across from the Horace H. Rackham Memorial Fountain is home to five Bactrian camels. The newest addition, Tula, was born in March of 2019. Mother Surin and Father Rusty, brother Humphrey, born in 2014, and sister Rusey, born in 2017. In their habitat, zookeepers provide enrichment that stimulates their minds and encourages natural camel behavior. You'll also find a few logs and trees that make excellent back scratchers. The Detroit Zoological Society is committed to helping animals not just survive, but thrive. For the resident caravan, that has meant acknowledging their individual needs and personalities to providing them an enriching diet and habitat. You can join us in celebrating and saving wildlife by sharing these stories of endangered animals, like the Bactrian camels. Sharing their stories can help increase conservation knowledge and action in everyday people. This can also help shape the conversation around conservation. That's it for our Habitat Chat on Bactrian Camels. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, see you later.